Oh, it's another lock seed. Oh, I've run out of intros for those. But on I bang for this deluxe keywormy lock seed. Yes, yes, y'all, I finally got it. I know in my last lock seed video I said this was one of the ones I'm missing. It's missing no more. Now, in the show, this is essentially the fruit of knowledge. One of, one of two fruits of knowledge, I believe. It's essentially given by one of the overlords to the DJ. If you've been watching the show, you know what I'm talking about. And then given to our main character. So this is essentially the most powerful lock seed of them all which is why it's given the name Kiwami. Uh, loose translation, it means Zenith. It's not an exact translation, but there's an, it's, an, it's a commonly accepted translation, which means above all others. And personally, my favorite of them, for the amount of detail they crammed in on this thing, First, you can see the padlock part is different from, let me grab something else, the, this cherry energy where you can see the obvious differences. This is on a spring, I'm not going to give you the finger, don't worry, while this is on a hinge a spring-loaded hinge. The only thing that this button opens is a little tiny piece right there. I'm still giving you the finger, aren't I? I use my fing my middle finger a lot for things, people. So, don't be offended. And only one person is going to watch this anyway, so who am I offending? And then you've got... Oh, I forgot to talk about the package. This thing. Picture of Kiwami arms. Here. Not here. I'm bad at looking at things on camera. Here. With some rainbow design and some Japanese kanji I don't understand. Deluxe Kiwami lock seed. Nice picture of Kiwami arms. QR code if you want to scan it. Damn it! I just dropped it. And your mandatory product shot. It does this, that, and the other. And Zed Pac Man. Oh, MGO loves that Zed Pac Man. So, banging on. Talk about more detail. You can see seven fruit on the front of it. You got your orange with uh, lock seed infinity and then banana grape strawberry watermelon cantaloupe and pineapple and some nice the uh, details I'm not sure what those are they look like they look like fruit plants I don't know what the hell they look like and then the rest of the gold paint just on the rim of it Transclearant orange hinge, which I will not show you right now, and I will turn it on so you can hear noise. So, activation noise doesn't activate noises. What activates noises is this secondary button down here. So, press it and yeah, let's hear that again. Yes, yes, y'all, what you heard was the fruit basket. Because this summons every single fruit in Common Air Gaim history. Now, it has uh, the standard button on the back with four sounds that go one after each other, and then two random sounds that are hidden. 
and then the force sound changes every time you press the button. So, first off, I'm surprised to hear her on the first press. That was one of the hidden two phrases by one of the characters in the female character in the show. Uh, next, bu next press. You hear the main actor, Kazabakota, spouting out phrases. So Henshin, of course, transform. His signature phrase, which I believe is this stage is mine, or this is my stage now, or something. And the next one of his his phrase for destroying Invest. I always had a very similar thing, the, which is all right. And I believe that is I will never give up, or I will never give up on this planet, or something. I've heard very similar things, but I'm not sure what it means. And then we're gonna rotate again. Hopefully, I can get the second phrase for on camera pretty quickly. There's the uh, second, fourth phrase, which is, I will protect the world. Pretty lofty goal. You see the problems with not editing. There's that second phrase. So, I'm not sure what she said. If you want to let me know what she said, tell me in the comments. But, uh, getting on with the rest of the Kiwami Lock Seed is this piece. This is the belt attachment. But it also works as a neat and only display option. Because this standing on its own will just fall backwards a lot or all the time so this is uncommonly helpful as a display stand and you can still activate sounds but I'm not going to so detach it turn it back on For, to use this form you need a Sengoku driver of course and a Kachidoki lock seed. So we're going to first turn the Kachidoki arms. Tension. And then remove the faceplate or the rider identifier. Attach this piece like so, and you can see it has a hole right into the unlocking part of the Kumami lock seat, Kachidoki lock seat, I'm sorry, and it also holds it, holds this. You can hear the pause noise. I think this might be my favorite noise. Second would probably be cherry. But now you can see all the fruit together and the Kachidoki helmet, Kiwami helmet. You can see why they work together so well. And that's not all the sounds you get. You get 16 sounds out of the Kiwami Lock Seed and the three standard attack sounds out of the Kachidoki Lock Seed in Kiwami mode. So, first slice.
And now we get 16 sounds out of this guy with six or seven different LEDs. And it summon, you can summon every single lock weapon available to the armored riders in the show. Unfortunately, unlike the show, this is set in 1 to 16. You can't just go random. I would have loved it to have gone random, but nope. And just... That about wraps up this uh, Kiwami Lock Seeds function in this mode. I think it's my favorite just because of the play pattern and just the summoning all the fruit arm weapons. There's one other thing I can show you though. This has the regular Lockheed backing and the this part up here wouldn't be necessary if you couldn't connect it to the single cool driver normally. So there's that. And you get a slightly different transformation. My head's off camera. Yay! And three attacks still. And that just about wraps up the Kiwami Lock Seed. It has a lot of noises, it has a lot of nice detail. There is one other thing you can do that I can't show you, so I'll probably link to a couple other reviews, at least one other, that you can connect it to other arms weapons, and it does have the Kiwami power. If you want, due to this unique construction here, you can attach it to the Muso Saber when it's attached to the Hinawa Dai Dai Dijeju, which no other Loxie can. So, there's just another point to how awesome this thing is. Final thoughts everyone should own one of these. It is a little bit expensive, but it's totally almost worth its price point. If you're going, if you've gone in on Gaim, I keep screwing up my words. Then this is a must-have. If you don't have it yet, there's something wrong with you. If you're not going in on Gaim, then obviously you're not going to buy this. But I think you should anyway. And I think that's all my thoughts. And thank you for sticking through me while I review six toys in a row, and then. I will go back to reviewing nothing for weeks at end. Bye!